here's how I got in sales. People would say, hey, what are you going to do with an English degree? Are you going to teach? No, no. Are you going to be a lawyer? No, no. What are you going to do? I, you know, I don't know. Hey, why don't you go into sales? You seem good with people, right? And the parentheses where you have no other qualifications, right? So that's, so uh, in fact, I was talking to Andy McCready. Uh, is Ross and Claire in the house? Ross and Claire from the UK, right? He was, because think about it. You, you do marketing for high-end hotels. Is that accurate? Right? Think about how we end up in this business. When you were four years old, were you thinking about, if only I could do marketing for high-end hotels, right? My life is complete, right? So we don't necessarily get there. So my job is to talk about CEO selling. I know we're not all CEOs. We've got a lot of CEOs, presidents, managers. CEO selling with regard to how I can leverage the power of Sandler throughout our organization. And I'm going to go through four M's, four M's. And I want to figure out how we, together, can differentiate ourselves in these four areas. One is management. One is management. The second is mindset. The third is measurement. And the fourth is methodology. So how do we, how do we as CEOs, leaders, differentiate ourselves? Management, mindset, measurement, methodology. And I, and I want to offer you a challenge. Dave talked about your hot list. We're big on hot lists. Is as you go through this session and the remainder of the sessions, you know, really think about what are your outcomes? What are the, what's, how are you look, what are you looking to change? What key action will you take over the next 90 days to drive adoption, to drive change? So that's kind of where we are. So let's talk a little bit about, let's talk a little bit about the management side of things for a second. Anybody remember the comic, uh, the comic strip Pogo? Pogo? Right, he, he, his famous line is, we have met the enemy and he is us. Right? So if you think about managers, I have never trained an organization that has succeeded without there being good, trainable management. Uh, hopefully I don't embarrass these folks. I got Craig Tillotson and Al Volano uh, from a company called Heffron Tillotson, the largest regional uh, financial planning firm in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, they've been clients for six, is it 16 years? Right? 16 years. That's a long time to be a client. And, uh, and, and if I look at, here's the rule. People judge themselves by their intentions, and they judge everyone else by their behavior. Think about that. We judge ourselves by our intentions. We judge everyone else by behavior. You paid for sales training for some of your people. If they don't come, they're not committed. If you don't come to my sales management program, you had a crisis. You see the difference between the two? I do training. Craig Tillotson and Al Volano, 16 years we've been working together, Twice a month, they're in training for an hour and a half, 16 years straight. I'm not looking, if you're an executive, I am not looking for sponsorship of my training, of the Sandler training. I need full-in participation. You have to model the way. I have not met an organization where the management was not trainable and strong, where we were able to literally help. I'll give you the Heffron Tillotson story. They went years back from being about average for regional sized firms to a per producer production in the top 1% in the world. That's major changes, right? So do not judge yourselves by your intentions. Judge yourselves strictly by your behavior. Our job as managers then is not only to participate and model the way, but to understand our people's strengths and weaknesses. Who's heard of, show of hands, who's heard of the concept of pain? You have to figure out if you and your people are motivated by pain or pleasure. Is it possible to be motivated by pleasure? What do you think? So here's, an, here's my story. I start in 1994. I leave up my background's IBM, a whole bunch of IBM things, sales training, sales management, sales. Uh, and I, I show up at my basement in Pittsburgh, and I put a phone line in. And I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I hate making cold calls. Fair? In fact, the only two people in my 18 years of doing this who said they like making cold calls are who? People who haven't done them and sales managers who said they loved them when they were making them years ago. Lo loved them. <laughs> so, so, here, so I said, I, I hate making cold calls. Right? And so David Sandler was alive. He said, you got to have goals, son. You got to have goals. I said, well, tell me how do you do that? He said, you got poster board. I said, no, but I can buy it. He said, what do you want me to do? He said, cut out some pictures of goals. I said, really? He said, really? I said, like what? He said, get a picture of a big house. Okay. 
Anything else? He said, you like boats? I said, I don't know. I don't even know if I've ever been on a boat, but I like boats. Get a boat.